What's up everybody, it's Jeremiah here and today I have an update on the Bloody Roar trademark. The last time we made a discussion on this topic was when the registration certificate was confirmed. You know, Konami officially owns Bloody Roar, it's been documented. This happened three years ago in 2020 on October 27th and nothing has happened since then. However, just because nothing has been officially announced, that doesn't mean that there were no developments that were going on. Now, in the past four years ago, I made a video on Bloody Roar returning and why I felt that way. And at one point in the video, I showed off a representative for service changed update on the Bloody Roar license on the Government of Canada website. Now, me being me, I went back to that website because I was curious and lo and behold, there's an update from 2023 this year on August 22nd and basically what this update is for is to change the name and address of the company that owns the Bloody Roar license from Hudson Soft to Konami Digital Entertainment. So basically a name and address update in result of the merger, the merger being Hudson Soft being absorbed by Konami, Hudson Soft merging into Konami almost 12 years ago on March 1st, 2012. Now, doesn't this seem interesting that this happened this year? They're looking into this this year instead of in 2012. And 2012 was after the re-releases of Bloody War 1 and 2 on the PlayStation Network store. Bloody Roar 1 released on PSN on the PS3 in 2009 of August 20th. Bloody Roar 2 was June 8th, 2010. So two to three years before the merger happened between Hudson Soft and Konami. And this year is when they want to look into it and cover all bases and make it a thousand percent clear that Hudson Soft no longer owns the property and that we own it because we had them merge with us since Hudson Soft does not exist and since Virgin Interactive don't exist the two companies that published Bloody Roar 1 and 2 overseas this means that Konami will have to do the re-releases overseas and if they do want to release it in America specifically for the PlayStation 4 or 5 it's gonna have to be under them as a whole or under them and Sony since Sony's still around and Konami owns it. That's where things get even more interesting for me. I think this is good news ultimately. I'm honestly surprised that this went under my nose for so long for about, what, four months? It says, we attach a copy of the certificate confirming the merger of Hudson Soft into Konami Digital Entertainment on March 1st, 2012 and request that it be recorded against the above noted registration. The owner's address should be updated as followed. This is Konami's address, which is here. So they had to go through this to make sure that whenever they want to do a re-release of Bloody Roar 1 or Bloody Roar 2, it has to be under their name, essentially. Konami has nothing to gain slash benefit from not proving that they actually own the property after absorbing Hudson Soft and all of their properties. Bloody Roar being the property in this case. They have nothing to gain from that. And again, the fact that they're looking into this this year instead of doing it after the PSN re-releases from 2009 and 2010, which is before the merger, raises an eyebrow. It gets me curious, personally. Do I believe something is happening? I have no reason not to. I'm not saying that something is happening. But what this does entail is that once they do something, it's going to be all under their name. No longer Hudson Soft. It's going to be under Konami Digital Entertainment. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next upload. I'll catch you guys in the next update on this. If it's not in a form of a trailer, it might be in a form of more documentation of Konami doing legal things with the Bloody Roar license. You guys take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.